Okay, today we're going to talk about energy recovery wheels. First, some terminology. An energy recovery wheel or a heat recovery wheel used in the HVAC industry transfers heat energy from one airstream to another opposing airstream. So in the HVAC industry, that means we're transferring the heat energy from the ditch, discharge duct to the supply duct and vice versa. There's two basic types of energy recovery wheels. Uh, the sensible wheel affects only dry bulb air temperature and has no effect on humidity. Whereas an enthalpy wheel affects humidity and air temperature. And there will be a desiccant material that is used with this type of wheel. So in heating mode, you have your cold outside air coming into the building and being blown across the energy recovery wheel that is spinning slowly. And inside that wheel, you have a mix or transfer of that heat energy. In other words, the hot and cool air in the supply duct and the return duct. So you have your warm discharge air getting blown out the discharge plenum or duct. So as that warm discharge air and that cold outside air commingle uh, inside that energy recovery wheel, that's where that heat energy is transferred. So this allows for warmed supply air to the air handling unit. This means your air handling unit can run more efficiently you won't have to burn as much fuel or electricity to warm the building because you're essentially pre-warming that supply air to the air handling unit. Woo! And that'll result in colder discharge air leaving the building. Now in cooling mode, on a hot summer day, you're gonna have warm outside air being drawn into the building And that warm air inside the energy recovery wheel is going to give off some of its heat energy to the cool discharge air that is exiting the building, which means you're going to have cooled supply air going to your air handling unit, which there again means your system can run more efficiently. System won't have to work as hard to keep up with the cooling load of the building, potentially, because you're pre-cooling the air being supplied to the air handling unit cooling coil. Wow. And that also means that warm heat energy is now being discharged out of the building. And generally, a few notes um, on these energy recovery wheels. You'll note there is a air filter in both the air supply and the air return duct. And you'll also note that the supply and return duct are always kept separate. And they're usually these, these energy recovery wheels are belt driven. But again, the main reason for the filters is because we want to keep that energy recovery wheel clean. It's a porous wheel and again they could be made of a poly material aluminum etc but you don't want to get a layer of dust clogging up the pathways through that energy recovery wheel because that is going to greatly affect your airflow and the exchange of heat energy depending on whether or not you're in cooling and heating mode etc and the size of the energy recovery wheel will go hand in hand with the BTU rating of the system. In other words, the larger the system you have, the larger the energy recovery wheel is gonna be. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and thanks for watching.